So we want to talk about every relationship you have. And we want to say to you that every relationship that you're currently living falls far, 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 far short of the one that you've got in your vortex every single time. Every relationship that you're living cannot even come close to measuring up to the one you've got into your vortex. Stop asking it to. Stop asking it to. Stop needing those relationships to be different than they are so that you can feel better. That's not the way this universe is established. That was the bouncing off place for this. This is where you want to put your attention. You see what we're getting at? So it's really interesting. You, you, you have this dream of a perfect relationship or a perfect breakfast or a perfect <laughs> hotel or a, or a perfect drive or a, you have this you have this dream you have this anticipation that from a distance felt good to dream it but now you're living the reality of it and it's not living up so you feel deprived you feel almost offended you feel almost assaulted you say to each other you don't bring me flowers anymore you say you you promised to obey me you or you or you promised to hold me dear and we say you, we really if, if you can just hear this if you can just hear that no relationship that is ever manifested will ever measure up to the one you've got in your vortex and if you will let them off the hook and focus on your your vortex you'll keep yourself joyful and the relationships will improve too but we're not giving you this information so that the relationships can catch up and start pleasing you so that you can then start turning around and observing the relationships that are pleasing you we, we so want you to get it that that you've always been reaching into who you are and anything less than that will never feel as good now, let's talk about this in, in really vivid terms. So those of you who have been in love, who now have relationships, you want to say you're in love, but maybe you don't really feel it so much. It's been a long time since you felt that in love feeling. Here's why. In the beginning, that relationship was more of a dream than it was a reality. You were building that relationship long before you ever hooked up with this particular person. It became who you really are. You and that person became this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful relationship. And it's vivid and real and it holds all that you are. You're kind to one another. You believe in one another. You're respectful of one another. You're looking for the best in each other. You're evoking more and more. You are the catalyst that keeps pulling more good stuff through each other. You are, you are humorous together. You're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. You move well together. You move through life well together. Together. In other words, in the vortex, what a magnificent relationship that you've built because every awkward moment improved it. Everything that went wrong made it right. Everything that was off made it on. In other words, are you getting the sense of this? You created this. Now, some of you want to call this an illusion. We want to call it the vibrational reality. We want to call it the relationship that you have created. We want to call it the, the, the world that you created from your non-physical and physical vantage point. It is a reality that is real that you've got to be a vibrational match to or you won't feel good so then when you look at reality as it is you can't help but compare you're not as nice as you're supposed to be you're not as attended to me as you're supposed to be chivalry's dead over there is still alive over here in other words and so and so then you're hard on each other because then you want that you want them to perform in a way that matches up to this and we're wanting you to understand you're you're looking for love in all the wrong places. It's in your vortex and it's not their responsibility. Are you following this? So when you get there, when you get there, then what happens is you begin, you begin enjoying the alignment of your vision which fills you with the feeling of, of life. Don't you, don't you know from your own experience that when you're on your way to the relationship, you felt so much better than when you actually got there and it's because when you got there you started looking at it as it is and what it is in terms of manifestation is never up to speed with what it has become it's already past tense well you took that pretty well well that's hard it's a hard thing to hear it's a, well what we're saying to you is in 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 terms of physics, it would be like saying to you, as you're driving down the road, you want to look where you're going, not where you are. 
and and not where you've been you want to look where you're going and and while that's simplistic and really almost silly it's the same idea we, we 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 want you to look toward what will manifest but we want you to look toward what is we want you to feel the realness of who you are so now speculate just for a little bit think about think about how have you ever let's find some some simple ideas have you ever got an idea that you'd like to refurbish your house or or buy new furniture and do you remember that how, how good it felt do you ever look through catalogs and and kind of start forming an image of how you'd like it to look and and didn't it feel better than when you got into the throes of trying to gather it all up <laughs> or pay for it <laughs> or find someone who could coordinate it in other words isn't it easier isn't it easier to feel good in the envisioning stage and what we want you to come along and and we can feel you starting to move with us what we want you if we could convince you that your life is about the way you feel then it wouldn't matter to you if you're dreaming the new furniture or if you're placing it if, if we've really convinced you that how you feel is where it's at so movie makers just keep dreaming new movies authors just keep dreaming new books songwriters just keep writing new songs the creative people never rest on their laurels they the, the happy creative people only stay happy and creative because they keep writing the next song you see what we're getting at they keep painting the next painting do you really think the world needs another painting no but painters want to paint sculptors want to sculpt songwriters want to write songs musicians want to make music in other words that's you're getting the hang of it aren't you in other words you want to flow the energy that's how you mold the clay you want to flow the energy you want to think the good feeling thoughts you want to sing the good feeling songs you want to think the good feeling thoughts you want to think the good feeling thoughts you want to think the good feeling thoughts you don't want to think bad feeling thoughts you want to think the good feeling thoughts now think about it as we watch people building empires as we watch relationships coming together as we watch movements coming into being do you know that far and away the majority of the movement happens before there is any physical stuff that even comes into being in other words as as you dream your empire as you dream your dream employees as you dream your dream product as you dream the world's response to it as you dream that it's all pure because there's no reality that's clashing with it you got to dream it as you wanted to dream it but when you start facing reality and reality clashes with the dream that's when you lose your connection and that's when your dream slows down well you're almost there you're 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 closer than any audience has been we'll tell you that you're closer than any audience has been to us having convinced you of the reality of this vortex and the benefit to you to reach toward it because have you ever been on vacation and you've been out on the road and you've been sort of free and in an attitude of discovery with no time commitments just sort of free flowing and you know that fresh feeling of the universe just yielding to you fun stuff to see and fun things to feel it, it's that fresh feeling that you can have all day every day once you start living this real time that we're talking about so if someone says did you get your new car you could say and mean and smile and feel good as you say no I'm still dreaming about it and then they'll go oh <laughs> oh but you don't mean oh you mean I'm still dreaming about it did you meet that perfect did you find your lover yet no I'm still dreaming about him oh <laughs> no you don't understand I, he doesn't have to be here this red hot minute the idea of him has breathed life into me the likes of which I cannot even begin to explain did you write your best-selling novel yet no I'm just dreaming about it oh <laughs> haven't really gotten around to it yet. oh no no I, the, uh, life is just showing me bits and pieces of it I'm gathering it up I can feel it formulating I can feel the inspiration that's flowing through me I've never felt so vivid or so alive 
You move into your new house yet? No, I'm just, I'm still dreaming about it. Oh. No, no. That dreaming about it is good. I'm, I'm in the vortex. I'm tuned in with the vibrational reality of it. It's breathing life into me. Oh, sure, it will manifest. But I've found, you can say to your friends, that the more that manifests, the more I have to ensure it. The more I have to move it from place to place, the more I have to clean it. In other words, you watch people, the more they gather, the less good they feel. The less they've got, the better they feel. We're not trying to talk you out of manifestations, friends. We're not. Manifestations are so wonderful and there is nothing more spiritual than the manifestation of this spirit that you are. Nothing is more delicious than manifestation. But manifestation that comes from alignment is delicious manifestation that is dragging you around by the hair is not <laughs> and we think that in general our human friends are hung up on the what isness of manifestations and depriving themselves of the freedom of the natural joy that comes from rendezvousing with the energy that is truly you now that's easy for us to explain to you because we don't have a physical body that we're dragging around. We don't have to bathe it or clothe it or feed it. We don't live in a house that we have to pay rent on or own or insure. In other words, we live in a state of beingness. But here's the big picture for you. So does the larger part of you. You are spirit. You are not thing. You are a being, not a doing. You are a being, not a having. You are a physical physical being who has the potential of aligning with the clarity and the adventure and the love and the sureness and the worthiness that is really you and you can tell moment by moment whether you've caught you, caught a glimpse of it and when you do milk it 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 until you say incessantly to those around you who say well what do you need you say i really don't need anything there's nothing that i need but I'm always on the quest for alignment. What does that mean? Well, it's sort of a long story, but what it basically means is I'm more than I see or that you see here in this physical body. And I can feel the wholeness of who I am through my emotions and I'm always on the trail of that. Now, most people won't get it, but you do, you get it. And in fact, you've gotten it so good that you can't go back from it. We should have explained that at the beginning that you now know too much you now know too much you can't go back you know too much you can't go back you are source energy in physical bodies and the way you feel is everything a woman said my lover left and now I'm sad and we said no you're not she said Abraham my lover left and now I'm sad he said no you're not she said Abraham she thought things she didn't say <laughs> something something about a ridiculous ghost Abraham you ridiculous ghost my lover left and now I am sad and we said no you're not she said let me be very clear with you I wasn't sad and then my lover left and now I'm sad I'm sad because my lover left and we said while you're interacting with that lover, you created a lover in your vortex that that lover was not a match to. And when that lover left, you're using that as an excuse not to match up with the one that's in your vortex. You're not sad because that lover left. You're sad because right now in this red hot minute, you are not a vibrational match to the lover you have created. That's why you're sad. You're sad because you are not up to speed with who you are. That's the only reason that you're ever sad. It's the only reason that you're ever sick. It's the only reason that you ever feel negative emotion. You're not up to speed. 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 Well, how do you get up to speed? You care about how you feel and you practice reaching for the thoughts that feel better until you find yourself in the vortex and then you practice being in the vortex until you're chronically in the vortex and then you're living real time then your source energy flowing through you now as you're interacting